Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at two different money making methods in New World. We're going to compare the amount of money you can make in just one hour of running these methods, and we're going to talk about each individual method as we go through them. So the first method is going to be a very common method that a lot of people have used in the past. However, it's still very, very viable, and it doesn't take any trade skills or gathering skills to begin. So we have Reek Water going to be the Azoth Water Run. This is a great run. Typically, I like to do this first half, recall, then teleport to the next teleport shrine because these are 20-minute respawns and grab all of the other Azoth Water as well. This is a great way because you're also going to be able to grab water motes along the way the entire time. So it's a lot of money to be had. And the second route is going to be much more unique. The second route's going to contain us up in Eden Grove, the north side of Eden Grove, right above Garden of Genesis. If you see here on the map, Garden of Genesis right here, Eden Grove teleport top shrine right there. It's going to be a quick teleport, a quick run, and you're going to be able to grab a ton of weird wood trees. These are going to make you a lot of money, and during the way, you're going to find a lot of Tangle Wisps as well. So we'll go into each individual gold amount that you're going to get from Azoth Water, Water Motes, Weird Wood Logs, and Tangle Wisps on my server. So to start out, we have Azoth Water at about 6 gold per Azoth Water on my server of Orofina. We also have Water Motes at 1 gold versus the Weirdwood Logs at 2 gold and the Tangle Wisps at 1.3 gold. So you're going to have a little bit of a competition here between Azoth Water and Water Motes versus the Weirdwood Logs and Tangle Wisps. We'll come up with exactly the amount of gold each method makes at the end of the video, but I'm going to kind of cut you guys through some of this method because, you know, there's not too much fun involved with running around and grabbing Azoth water, but the next method is much more unique, and there's actually a little bit of a dungeon area where we go and cut these weird wood trees. If you guys like these kind of videos and you think this is a cool little series that we could begin doing on New World money making or really in general on money making methods in games, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell me in the comments what you would like to see more of. As we got a big 1500 Azoth salt drop from that one, uh, like I said, a ton of water motes, a ton of Azoth water from this first run. Uh, like I said, guys, this is one of the best runs out there because you're typically able to do about three runs as Azoth water takes 20 minutes to respawn. And then we're on our next method. So this method's all about going into this little dungeon area. There is some trees outside that you definitely want to take advantage of first, like I did. However, once you get inside, there's a ton of weird wood trees for you. So I start cutting one down. I realize really quickly that's not going to work. So I did bring a fire staff because it's very, very strong against the enemies that you're going to fight in here. Um, you know, most of us are level 60 at this point if you're looking to make money. And if you aren't, you probably should get to level 60 before focusing on money making. But you can see that there's a ton of Tangle Wisps that you can grab as well as weird wood trees. And there's also a lot of reasons to come here. Because it's not just trees and weird wood that you're... Or sorry, not just wisp and weird wood that you're getting. You're also getting some coffers. Here you can see that we got a coffer. I won't add this actually to the money making that we get here because we also got a soul worm which would have bumped us up probably about 15 gold. I won't add those to the total gold amounts. I'm just going to add the stuff we can kind of um, we can kind of calculate, right? So we can calculate the Tangle Wisps, we can calculate the Weird Wood, we can calculate the Azoth Water, and we can calculate the Water Motes. So I'm not going to go with any of the crazy drops, just so we know what typically is going to be the best money-making method. Here we go through, like I said, Fire Staff's really, really good against these creatures, and that's exactly why I bring them. And we take more and more Tangle Wisps. In the very back of this dungeon, there's a couple more boxes to loot. And the biggest thing, though, in the back of this dungeon is the amount of weird wood trees that there are. Probably, I don't even know, five, six at least. And you have to remember, weird wood logs, specifically on Orofina, is worth two gold a piece. So when you cut these trees down, you're making quite a bit of gold. And I made a lot of gold doing both of these money-making methods, but this one was definitely more fun, in my opinion. But some of us don't really care about fun. We just want to get that gold because having gold in New World is usually the most fun of it all. So here we're fighting the final little uh, creatures in the back. I think there's one more that spawns. Yeah, there's so there's one more back here I have to kill. And you have to do this kind of quick because these creatures do respawn very, very quickly. So if you waste too much time, you will kind of ruin your recall in the back of this area. Because I like to, like I said, recall in the back of this area, go back and sell or even just kind of, you know, salvage some of the stuff you get from that chest there. Uh, but you can see as well, I'm not even counting the pure solvent to this money-making method either. So 
all of those chests aren't going to count but another soul worm tongue which is another basically 15 gold as well but weirdwood trees out the wazoo back here you can see here's one here's another one there's more over there uh, i believe there's one on the right as well that i missed until the very very end but there's reasons people are coming in these areas to hunt these weirdwood trees and i've seen maybe one or two other people in my time up in Eden Grove, and that's over like the last two months people have this idea of this money making method they just aren't using it because there's others that are maybe a little bit better out there so we'll talk about the specifics i guess when it comes to the amount of gold you can make but i would definitely suggest bringing a little bit of food just in case you get poisoned uh, that poison can tick for a little bit bringing a weapon that is decently good against these creatures like i said fires staff is definitely a good one you can't go back there by the way i tried to go back there thinking there might be a tree back there for me but i wanted to loot this last tangle wisp and i believe there's one more tree here over on the side that i'm going to loot the weirdwood tree specifically is the last two trees i believe that i get on this run before i recall and reset for my first run of the eating grove money making method Okay, so now that we're back at the trading post, I do want to look up how much each individual item is going to be selling for at the trading post. I looked up prior to the run, and now I want to look up after the run. So we have Azoth Water first in line. I had this going for about six gold a pop. So let's take a quick look here. Azoth Water, still about six gold. We have one undercutting with about 16. So six gold is a very, very accurate Azoth water price. We have more into the water moats now. So water moats were another option for us that we were able to grab at about one gold. Looks like it's about 1.13 gold right now for the most part. Uh, I still am going to keep this one at about one gold. I think that's a fair price. I have one a little lower, one a little higher. This should even it out just a little bit. Uh, we have the next run that we did containing weirdwood logs and tangle wisp. So let's do weirdwood first and just kind of see. I have this one at about two gold. Um, but let's take a quick look here. So Weirdwood is at about 1.8 right now, which is not too high, but we have a, not very many available up until about 1.97, which is basically two gold. I'm going to go with two gold with Weirdwood. I think that's still a decent number for us. And then Tango Wisp is next in line. So if we take a look at Tango Wisp, we are looking at about 1.29 or 1.3 per Tango Wisp. So it's great to see that, you know, realistically, these prices aren't going to change too much before and after you start your money making methods, as they've pretty much stayed very, very close to the same for us. If you can see here, Weird Peak was a very, very fun, really way of trying to make a lot of money and seeing what we could do. We made about 1800 gold through Weirdwood logs and Tangle Wisps, not including anything else we had up there. So it's probably closer to about 2K realistically. And Reek Water, we made about 2,500 gold from Azoth Water and Water Moat. So Reek Water, going for that Azoth Water was still the clear winner and you don't even have to have requirements. So, you know, going to get Weirdwood logs, you're gonna have to have 100 wood cutting and most likely a decent ax to really speed up the process. The cool thing about the Weirdwood idea for me is personally i like the idea of leveling my account while making money so you're kind of getting a benefit there you're getting xp as well as a lot of gold so 1800 for the eating grove route and then 2500 for the reek water route let me know which method you guys would prefer there's a lot of other great methods out there but i wanted to get to money making methods that don't just include max level accounts doing m10 runs or dungeon runs i wanted to get to something a little bit different and there's a lot of other ways to make money in new world that people just don't know about. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.